think I've gotten about 50 questions about how to get consistent characters from Mid Journey V4 after my chat GPT story about Eve and Jack. So today I thought I'd just take you to my process on how I get these consistent characters or avatars in Mid Journey. So let's just get started. The first step is just gonna be head over to Mid Journey, just go slash imagine. Paste is quite simple from a beautiful female rogue, red hair. I'm just going with AR23, that's up to you. Just hit enter and let's just wait for the results. The next step is gonna be just look at the images, pick the one you like the most and just hit upscale. Next step is just gonna be open the upscale image. Click on it and save it to your computer and go back to mid journey. Hit the plus sign, upload a file. Just find your image here and just open it and hit enter. Then you just gonna click on the image, click right click, copy URL address slash imagine and just paste the URL address. Then find some kind of prompt you want to use. Here I'm just gonna go with female row character, full body image. Dash dash Q2 AR32, just hit enter and wait for the result. Next step then is just gonna be pick the image you like the most, hit upscale and just wait for that. Okay, so next step is gonna be quite important, but before we look at that, I just wanted to let you know that I have a membership here on YouTube where I do step by step tutorials on things about mid journey, chat GPT, GPT3, and even some good Python scripts. So I think there's going to be a lot to learn there in 2023 with the rise of generative AI and other tools. So check it out in the link below. Now let's move on to the next step. So the first thing we are going to do is just we're going to rate this image with the heart emoji. You have successfully rated this job with that. And then you're going to go up to add reaction. Click on the envelope and just scroll down and here you can see you get this seed number so that is what we are going to use in the next step so now you just want to go slash imagine and just paste your unique name for your character so mine is going to be hannah the Vile, portrait of a rogue character uh, and i'm just going to leave dash dash q2 dash dash ar32 and at the end here i'm going to do dash dash seed head back up here copy the seed number and bring it down here write that and just hit enter and wait for the result okay we have some result back here so here again just pick the one you like the most uh, i'm just gonna pick number four upscale that then it's just the same process again give it a rating with the heart emoji click on add reaction envelope scroll down grab your prompt now take the new seed number replace it with the one you just used paste it enter and went wait for the next result again we're just gonna do the same look at the one we like the most hit upscale and when you get the result back it's just gonna be rinse and repeat uh, rate the image again go to the envelope scroll down do the same prompt exchange the seed with the one you had before and i suggest you just repeat that at least five times i usually do like six to seven times that should be enough now let's test and see how this works okay so to test this let's just go slash imagine then do our unique name that is gonna be right hannah the vile portrait of a rogue character and then let's go go sitting on uh let's say horse wild west style and let's just go q2 dash dash ar32 and hit enter and see if this is working as intended okay we got something back here let's upscale it to take a better look okay so let's take a closer look at this scale it yeah i gotta say that looks quite good huh let's look at the original image so it was this one let's upscale that too yeah i can really see a good resemblance here right so very happy with that Let's go for something completely different. So let's go slash imagine our unique name and go, let's say cyberpunk laser dagger dash dash Q2 dash dash AR32 and see what this gives us. Okay, so let's take a look at the cyberpunk version of this. Let's take a closer look here. So this was our original image and this is the cyberpunk version. Wow, that looks awesome, right? I was very happy with this. Here we have a different variant, also very cool. And you can really see the resemblance, right? 
So very happy how this turned out. So I hope this can give you some idea of how you can create consistent designs, characters, avatars, call it what you want in Mid Journey V4. Like I said, I had a lot of questions about this. Hopefully this gives you some answers. Let's finish this up by looking at a compilation of characters I made with this prompt. Yeah, let's roll.